How exciting is it to be here? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to go back to what you said, 2016. I think they were starting to build the indoor practice facility. Uh, the place wasn't as nice as it is now, but I guess you saw the vision and realized, man, they probably would like to be here at some point. Well, I think anytime you're uh, part of Christian institutions before, um, you know, Liberty was one that's like, hey, if you're if you're a, if you're a Christian coach uh, and you want to impact people for the kingdom, uh, what better place to do that than Liberty University? So at that time, it was probably a pop dream, um, but uh, God opened the door this time, and I was going to make sure I walked through it. There were reports out there of different schools having interest in you. What were if you had to narrow it down to like two or three things that you were looking for and that Liberty matched? What would they be? Well, I think the, I think you always look for people. You know, do you trust the people that are there? And that was uh, that was checked. Opportunity to win at a high level, and that was checked. And then most importantly, uh, can you be at a place that uh, you can share your faith, that you can use the sport of football to uh, spread the gospel of Jesus uh, and impact his kingdom? And those all got checked. With the resources here, um, you know, is this something that you think that Liberty, you can continue to build off of what's already been built here and, and continue to take them to, like you talked about, maybe being a CFP uh, candidate? Well, I think that's the goal. Well, that's not going to be easy. I think that's what you want to try to get to uh, over time. We've got to obviously continue to build, but there is a good foundation here. There are good, obviously good resources here. Uh, but we've got to make sure that we build a team that uh, fits this university and that will want to achieve that goal down the road. Our first goal is obviously to be the best we can be and, and go try to see what we can do in Conference USA. What do these, what do these next two to three weeks look like for you as you, you know, finally start here and as the team is preparing for a bowl game? Well, one, you got to uh, build your staff. Obviously, I got to I got to get to know the current staff. I got to build the staff. Got to get to know the players. Uh, you know, try to try to earn their trust every day, uh, and then uh, try to be as supportive as, as the team gets ready for the bowl game. You know, Coach Aldridge, will, I know, will do a fantastic job. Uh, is the interim uh, any support that I can get? But really, just observing a lot, uh, trying to trying to get to know the players as much as I can, the lay of the land, uh, as I uh, you know put a staff together, and then we got to recruit. Uh, and uh, the current commitments, try to keep the current commitments, try to bring some people in, uh, and then also, uh, you know, you look into the portal. Where are you, where we talk are you? about uh, coaches and filling out your staff. I mean, are there guys currently on your staff at Coastal that you think would also be a good fit here with you as you talk about being a good fit here at Liberty yourself? I think so. I, I think any time that you've been with some people for a while, you know who their, what their hearts are. And so there's guys down there that, that I think would be. I, I've obviously not had a chance to talk with them a lot about the situation, but I will. But also, I know there's some good people here as well, and there's good people across the country. Uh, and so I've got some relationships with different people. So you got to find out what's the who can help you achieve the goals you want to achieve, but also do it within the, the parameters of our, of our institution and what we stand for. Where are you in terms of roster evaluation as far as the current roster at Liberty, the commits that are already there, and then the transfer portal and how guys make their way to uh, We were, were actually working on it earlier today. Uh, you know, I have an idea of the current roster a little bit, uh, more so than the current commits. And some of, some of the kids that uh, are committed uh, might have recruited them out of high school anyway. You know, so, so I have an understanding there. But from a portal standpoint, you, you know a lot of people in the portal, but it's got to be the ones that uh, – do you have a need here for that that position? And then find out. I got to find out those needs over here in the next few days. When did this really start to come together for you? Because, like I think Ed mentioned, there were a lot of other schools that were interested in you. And when did it really start to zero in? And how challenging of a week was this for you when the championship came to coach? Well, it was uh, it was extremely challenging, and that, uh, and to me that was the. Um, the toughest thing about leaving and trying to make decisions, all this information gets leaked and it takes away from your team. You know, the team, uh, our team at Coastal there just really had an unbelievable year and really overachieved, you know, and they had an opportunity to win a championship. And I think the last couple of weeks with the rumors and the different things swirling, uh, it took away from what could have been a tremendous season and stuff. And so, you know, all this came together the last, you know, few days. There were some opportunities the last two, three weeks that you've been discussing. And, uh, you know, when you start narrowing it down and, and thinking about, um, as you pray through what, what potentially could be your next step, um, you know, it started to happen the last, you know, few days and get everything sort of finalized at some point yesterday. Your meeting with the team earlier today, what was, uh, what was your message to them? Uh, that you love them and you're very appreciative of what they did, buying into, buying into the vision there at Coastal and um, what we were able to do over those three years. I'm still emotional about it because you don't just turn it off, you know, and uh, um, it was hard to leave them. It was hard to leave. It was going to take a special opportunity, but this was a special place, and I felt like it was the right one. But it was it was a challenging, at least for me. Half of them might have been happy, you know. But it was a, it was a challenging meeting. You had talked about building trust with players. There's a player here, Jonathan Bennett, who you recruited out of high school. Is that someone who can help? You know, who knows you can help bridge the gap a little bit and 
someone who is a leader in that locker room? Well, it might. We've obviously got to – I do know him and know what he's about, uh, but we've not spent a lot of time together over the last few years too. But any time you have somebody you have a prior relationship to it that might know you and know your heart, I think that helps tremendously. But I've got to – I told the team in our meeting today, I've got to do everything I can to earn their trust every day. And that's being consistent, being who I am. Uh, I'm not another coach. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Jamie, and I'm going to be Jamie in the way that best fits me. And hopefully the players over time will see my heart and see what I have for them. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to be easy all the time. But uh, I think over time that they'll buy into what we're doing and believe in that. Are you planning to be at the bowl game? I know you obviously you're not going to be coaching, but uh, it's right up against signing day too. So have you made plans yet? Um, I, I have not talked about that, but I'm assuming I'll be on the plane down there doing something. But I know signing date's coming up. And so um, – if I had to say yes, I've not talked with any yes, but I'd, I'd be down there and being supportive, obviously not doing anything, but being supportive and watching and observing and seeing guys practice and some of those things. How well have you gotten to know Hugh Freeze over the years, and have you had a chance to speak to him this week? I have not. I don't, I don't know him well. I've talked to him a couple times. I don't know him well. I uh, know people that know him, but uh, he did a great job here and obviously left a good foundation. Hopefully we can build off of it. Coach, you have a unique uh, vision having been on the opposing sideline a couple of times wearing some different visors. Now you got the red visor in your hand. What's it going to what, Can you imagine yet what it's going to feel like to walk out on an opening day here with the home crowd here actually cheering you on? No, I know because I got a lot of boos last time, you know, and uh, I was I was going to make a comment. Everybody clapping. You better hold those claps to see how we play first, right? But, uh, no, it's a, it'll be a special feeling. Uh, obviously, um, from the outside looking in and, and knowing the passion that Flame Nation has for their program, the students have for the program, uh, it's going to be a special time, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be surreal, I'm sure. Uh, obviously, that's a long time away, but it'll be here in, in no time, and so we got a lot of work to do to get our, get ourselves in position. From a football standpoint, you know what it takes to build winning programs, but now to do that in a different place, different culture, different set of challenges, different set of advantages. What what's one constant though? Do you think that that it takes to build a winner? I, I think uh, the main thing is being genuine. I can't be somebody that I'm not. I can't try to act. I think, I think players need to see that you're sincere. Uh, and every, any place that we've tried to, to, to be, to take over, to help improve, uh, we've poured everything into it to be the last move that you're ever going to make. And I think players see that and they buy into that. And so uh, genuineness and sincerity and in, in treating the players in the way that they need to be treated. You and Joe helped build that program at Coastal from in the infancy of FBS to where it is now. Now that you come into a place that's established like this, how much – easier is it going to be for you to one win the trust and then be, know that the foundation's in place and just keep building on what's there? I actually think it's harder. It's not easier. I think it's harder. I think it's easy to go in where they stink. Uh, they'll listen to you. But when you've had success uh, and uh, you're going to do it a little different way, uh, it's a different roadmap. You're still trying to get to the same spot, but the roadmap might look a little different. Uh, and so I think that's more challenging because you've had some success and some guys might be, um, I don't want to say against buying into it, but they might be a little hesitant to do that because, well, we did it this way and it worked. And so it's going to, be, it's going to take us time to build those relationships with those players where they do know that we have their best interest. But I do believe once that happens, you'll see us continue to climb and build on the foundation that's here. Are you a beach guy or mountains guy? You know what? I grew up, I grew up close to the mountains. I love both of them. So um, I can live anywhere. Does this put you closer to family, I guess? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I think uh, – I think – Four, maybe four hours from East Tennessee here. I don't. I, I'm not done the. I'm not done the uh, the exact distance there, but it's probably a little bit closer if I had to guess. You mentioned. You mentioned trading in your. Am I supposed to be talking with y'all too? Talk, talk to her first. I mean, ladies, ladies first. first. Yeah. Yes. Y'all been asking every question. I'm the man. Sorry. Um, I spoke to quite a bit of fans that showed up to meet you. What's your message for the fans? Well, one that I'm, I'm I'm humbled to be here. I know they have tremendous. They they, they give us tre tremendous support for Flame Nation. Uh, and then we're going to do everything we can to put a product there on the field they're going to be proud of on and off the field. Uh, and uh, hopefully they'll continue to support us at a high level because I know I've been here when it's been a tremendous atmosphere. Uh, and that's what we're going to need for these student athletes and the work that they put in so we can go out and have tremendous seasons. Uh, I think that they're selfless. I think that I think football, football, you can be talented, but if you if you're trying to serve yourself, you'll never become great. And I think people that become great have to be selfless. And so if you use your talents to help others, I think then that can become a, you can become a great football player. My last question is, what kind of team atmosphere are you wanting to bring with your 
Uh, I think you want a real brotherhood. We talk a lot about being a real brotherhood, and uh, when you're when you're a real brotherhood, you you sacrifice your joy for somebody else's joy, and I think that's what that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to get people to buy into each other. Uh, it's got to be bigger than winning. Everybody wants to win. You got to have a higher purpose, uh, and uh, if we get guys to buy into that purpose of of playing for their brother and doing things for their brother and to bring him joy, then I think good things will happen.